March the 18th, 2020. This is a strange time in Austin, Texas, and lots of other places too. It's a scary time, a time when we're full of uncertainty, and what uncertainty produces is often fear. So I've chosen today to record this video near a little playground near my house in this pretty park near my house. The sound of people playing, of kids running around having fun. The sound of um, hope and uh, freedom, the hope and freedom that children have that we adults forget about because of fear. The Buddha said that the problem with uh, life is that it is full of suffering, and the reason it's full of suffering is because of fear. We are attached to things that will not last, and we become afraid to lose them. We become afraid for things to change. We become afraid that uh, things are not going to be okay, and that leads to suffering. And that's why life feels like suffering so much. And there is real suffering. There is real loss, and we're going to see more suffering and loss in the days to come. I think Austin uh, is in a, you can't have a gathering of more than 10 people from now till all the way through March and April. So we as a faith community have been trying to figure out what to do about that and how to meet anyway and how to connect anyway. And we've had all kinds of great ideas. Who knew? We're gonna stretch, and we're gonna grow, and we're gonna rethink some things, which I'm happy about. I'm rethinking some things, which I'm happy about. Jesus said that you're preoccupied with the things that don't last, but what does it do for your soul if you gain the things that don't last and you're empty inside? The more you try and hold on to your life as you understand it, the more it's going to disappear. But the more you let go of it, the more the deepest life will show itself to you. You'll live in it. He called it the kingdom of God or the realm of God or the community of God. It's a place of uh, freedom because it's based on the idea that God is love and that God loves. This is hard to accept when I am in charge of all things and the center of the universe. It's hard to accept that it's gonna be okay in a time of crisis and fear. It's hard to accept that even though things on the short-term level, temporary things, things that won't last, may really get screwed up and not be how I want them, that God is still present, that life is still meaningful, and that there is still goodness. But here's the thing, for those of us who follow Jesus, we absolutely are convinced, and if we're not convinced, we help convince each other, and if we can't convince each other, then we just hold on for dear life to Jesus' assertion, which is, this is not all there is. There's so much that you can't see, it's all around you. There's so much goodness, so much love. I think that some of that is going to come out during this time. I believe that. Be good to each other and be good to yourself.